Ublalotak Kanut Pisi. Today is Friday. What day? All day today. Let's be responsible. Always try to do our best. Cooperate with others and let's treat everyone with respect, including ourselves. Let's look at these pictures. Look at look at her face. How do you think she is feeling? How about her? Does she look happy? Or does she look uncomfortable? What about in this picture? This man looking over this man's shoulder. Do you think this man is comfortable with this person being so close to him? What's common in these three pictures is that this this woman this woman and this person are very uncomfortable by these people around them being so close to them in other words these people are entering their personal bubble that's our topic for today we are going to talk about personal space and respecting others personal bubble now let's talk about what does it look like when somebody enters your personal bubble. It could look like somebody touching your head, somebody playing with your hair, somebody trying to touch your nose, somebody trying to be very close to you or standing over you. All those are examples of somebody invading your personal space. Now let's talk about what can you say to somebody when they do that. You could say, stop it. Stop. It's my personal space and I don't like someone getting into my personal space. Or you could politely say, could you please step out of my personal bubble? You could be firm and you say, it's not funny to me when you enter my personal space. This is what I usually tell sometimes students when they try to be goofy, they try to enter my personal bubble. I tell them that it's not funny to me when you try to enter my personal bubble. Could you please step out of my personal bubble and I'll talk to you. So try to respect every individual's personal bubble and personal space. Here is a message from Rita Olana who is one of our most esteemed and respected elder of our community. Let's pay attention to what she has to say. If you want to be somebody when you grow up, you got to learn right now how to learn how to be a respectful person. You know, lots of kids always want to say hi, Graham, to me because even the little kids will respect me for who I am. And to be respectful to your teachers with where they come from and what you know their livelihood is different from us but uh they would appreciate it if you uh respect their teachers and learn learn and listen from them i heard you kids making uh i know the word for muxic you know what muxic is if you don't know what muxic is Ask your parents if they know what it is, picking their nose, <laughs> because I wouldn't like that in my, in my class if I was a teacher. We didn't make fun of, you know, people like that when we first see them. We make, we, we got to make friends with them because they come, your teachers come a long ways from the Philippines and you don't even know what it's like over there. It's a different, it, it would be a different world for you people. You're, you're, you're used to this place, Brevik, and you think you can do be, do anything that well, you know, make problems in school. That's what I don't like. You got to have, uh, tell your parents, I'll tell your parents if I see anyone making fun of teachers. I know how to do it. I've seen I've seen you other kids do that before. 
but pay attention to your teachers and respect them and appreciate them. Thank, thank you for coming to teach us here in Alaska from faraway land. This was a wonderful message by Rita. She's right. We need to show respect to each other. We need to respect teachers, paras, each other, our friends, our classmates, because everyone deserves respect. And one way we can show respect to each other is by making sure we do not enter anybody's personal space. I hope you guys took this seriously and you, I hope you guys will make sure that you respect each other, your teachers and your paras, and you'll maintain the personal space and respect others' personal space. Thank you for staying with me for so long and I hope you guys have a great Friday. Happy learning.